Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcasts.com. If it's tech, it's here. Two Tech Chops in a month? Nope, you're not dreaming. This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by Mosey Pro. Welcome to episode 11 of Tech Chop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. Yes, this episode is a little earlier than expected, but that's because I couldn't wait to tell you about this new toy I was given to review from the folks at Eaton. This toy is an Eaton 5PX 1500 UPS unit, which retails for $839. But since I'm reviewing it, they hooked brother up for freezing. And since this is a business class uninterruptible power supply, I frankly had no use for it. So I decided to donate to my employer because it's hard to get money out of them to purchase awesome equipment like this. Plus we had a bunch of lower end APC UPSs laying around in my server room from the previous administrator that I wanted to get rid of and consolidate with a rack mount solution like the Eaton 5PX. Speaking of the previous administration, what I'm about to show you may be disturbing. It's important to note that the cabling mess and cluttered server closet was something I've inherited and I'm planning on cleaning up in the near future. Viewer discretion is advised. I, uh, have no words. It's getting better. When I first took it over, it had a number of rack mounted servers stacked on top of each other on the floor. I have since consolidated almost everything in the server room onto two Citrix Zen servers. Also, you may have noticed that everything is on a telco rack. That wouldn't have been my first choice either. Whoever was like, you know what we should put in there? A telco rack. And they're like, you know what would be good in here? A telco rack. They're all like, hey boss, hey boss, I got the greatest idea in the world. Just put a fucking telco rack in there. <laughs> all right, let's get on with this review. But first, sponsor. When it comes to running a successful business, there are many things you have to get right, like hiring good people. But one thing is often overlooked, and that's protecting the data that powers your business. Computers, servers, external hard drives, and even tape backups are vulnerable to failure and data loss. In the US alone, over 140,000 hard drives fail every single week. Even a single incident of data loss isn't cheap. It can cost $10,000 or more to recover data from a single laptop or server. Mosey Pro backs up Windows PCs, Macs, and servers for over 70,000 organizations, from small business and large companies like GE, Starwood Hotels, Accenture, and Subway Restaurants. Mosey Pro is also the backup solution for nonprofits and educational institutions like Stanford University, the Yale School of Management, and many more. If you're not backing up your business data with Mosey Pro, here's a reason why you should consider Mosey Pro to back up your business data. Mosey Pro is easy to set up and use, saves you time, and costs up to 80% less than other solutions, giving you peace of mind and eliminating the hassle of backing up your data. Give our friends at Mosey a call. They've been doing this a long time and run the most secure, most trusted online backup service. Right now, you can save 15% by using promo code PODCAST15. Call 877-669-9776. That's 877-669-9776. Seven, six. Or visit moseypro.com and tell them Tech Chop sent you. Let's start with the unboxing. It's important to note that the Eaton 5PX weighs an epic ton. Okay, slight exaggeration as it's only 65 pounds, but it's still freaking heavy. First opening it up, you'll see that the design of the unit is actually pretty damn sexy. That's what she said! It's awesome that it came with a rail kit included, but since I had a stupid telco rack to work with, my desktop tech Frank and I had to get MacGyver up in this mofo. We had to set the Eaton 5PX on a rack shelf instead, which isn't ideal, but it works. Once in place, we powered that sucker up and watched the really cool LCD display light up like a Christmas tree. The interactive LCD interface allows you to customize certain UPS settings, as well as view load and power consumption. The 5PX also comes with a power software suite for better power management of servers. However, since we are using this with Citrix Zen servers, and the software is for Windows, we didn't get a good chance to play with it. What I really like is that I can manage the UPS remotely through a web browser. The unit comes with a hot swappable mini network management card, which I have to be honest gave me some problems at first. The card has a serial port for manual configuration, and the original card I got had a bad serial port. That wouldn't have been a big problem, but when I changed the admin password on the card from the web interface, I used a password with special characters, 
and got myself locked out because apparently the card doesn't allow for special characters and passwords. The process for resetting the password is to go through the serial port, and that was unresponsive. Long story short, I had to send it back to Eaton for a replacement. The good news is that Eaton's tech support and RMA team were very helpful and friendly, and getting the replacement part was a breeze. I think Dell and HP's tech support teams can learn a thing or two from the people at Eaton. Anyway, after the replacement card came in, I was able to configure everything I needed, including setting up monitoring of the UPS using SNMP. The device also has a place where you can configure email settings, so you can have daily reports on power consumption sent directly to your inbox. All in all, the web interface is very intuitive and easy to use. After poking around for about 5 minutes, you'll have it figured out. The hardest part about implementing the 5PX was the weight, and bolting in the rack shelf. After it was in place, setup was potato head easy. This particular unit only has 8 outlets on the back. So if you're planning on providing battery backup for more than a few devices, you'll have to get a couple of these or a bigger unit. For a small company though, the solution is perfect, since it can be rack mounted or stood up as a tower. This device is very versatile. It could be a good fit for most environments. That's all I have for this episode. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these reviews. If you didn't catch the last episode, I reviewed several set-top boxes. I kind of dig playing with new toys like this, and if you guys want to see more, let me know about it in the comments. Also, if you have any questions about the 5PX that I didn't cover, feel free to comment below, hit me up on Twitter, or shoot me an email at info at techshop.com. For you YouTubers, don't forget to like, fave, and subscribe. Catch me next time for your prescribed dose of Tech Shop. Use a knife like a man. Ah! Tucker rack. Stole. It could be a good foot. Oh my god, man, I almost got done with that one. It's not gonna be edited in post. Can a brother get some subscribers up in here?